Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in Weinreich oscillator. The frequency of oscillation formula is F is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of R1, R2, C1, C2. If R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R and C1 is equal to C2 is equal to C, then the frequency formula is F is equal to 1 by 2 pi RC. Okay. The first problem. Determine the frequency of oscillation in a Weinreich oscillator for the given values R1 is equal to 5 kilo ohm, R2 is equal to 7.6 kilo ohm, C1 is equal to 0.1 microfarad and C2 is equal to 0 0.02 microfarad. So here we are going to use the frequency of oscillation formula F is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of R1, R2, C1, C2. So we can simply substitute the values of R1, R2, C1, C2 in this formula. Then we can get the answer as F is equal to 577.3 Hertz. Okay. Next problem. A Weinbridge oscillator is used for operations at 9 kilohertz. If the value of the resistance R is 100 kilo ohm, what is the value of C required? So in this problem they have given the frequency F is equal to 9 kilohertz, R is equal to 100 kilo ohm. We are going to find out the capacitance value. So here F is equal to 1 by 2 pi RC. From this we can get the value of this capacitance C. So here C is equal to what? 1 by 2 pi F into R. We can simply substitute the value of this F and R here. Then we can get capacitance C is equal to 1 by 2 pi 9 into 10 to the power of 3 into 100 into 10 to the power 3. Then we can get the answer as 176.84 picofarad. Okay. So the next problem in a Weinbridge oscillator when the values of R1 is equal to R2 is equal to 56 kilo ohm and C1 is equal to C2 ranges from 100 picofarad to 1000 picofarad. Determine the range of frequency. So in this problem, first we can write the given data R1 is equal to R2 is equal to 56 kilo ohm. The C value varies from 100 picofarad to 1000 picofarad. We have to find out the range of frequency. So here we can use the formula F is equal to 1 by 2 pi RC. Okay. So here first we can consider the 100 picofarad capacitance value. So here F is equal to 1 by 2 pi R is equal to 56 into 10 to the power of 3. Here the capacitance value is 100 into 10 to the power minus 12. Because pico. Pico means what? Minus 12. Okay. Then we can get the frequency value as 28.4 kilohertz. Okay. Similarly, we can find out the frequency for the capacitance 1000 picofarad. So here F is equal to 1 by 2 pi. R value is 56 into 10 to the power 3. Here the capacitance is 1000 into 10 to the power of minus 12. Okay. Then we can get the answer as F is equal to 2.84 kilohertz. Okay. So from this we come to know that the range of frequency for the capacitance 100 picofarad to 1000 picofarad are given like this. That is 2.84 kilohertz to 28.4 kilohertz. This is the answer. Next problem. For the given circuit, find the resistance value R1 if the frequency varies between 5 kHz to 12 kHz. So this is the given diagram. From this we can write the given data as R1 is a variable resistance. R2 is 1.5 kilo ohm. C1 and C2 both are equal. That value is 0 0.01 microfarad. So we are going to find out the value of this R1 for the frequency range 5 kilohertz to 12 kilohertz. Okay. So in this one we can use the formula F is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of R1, R2, C1, C2. Then the C1 and C2 both are equal. We can write this formula as 1 by 2 pi square root of R1, R2 into C square. Okay. So we want to find out the value of this R1 which is inside this square root. So we can take square on both the sides. Then F squared is equal to 1 by 4 pi squared 
R1 R2 into C squared. We can take this R1 to this left hand side. So R1 is equal to 1 by 4 pi squared F squared R2 into C squared. So this is the formula we are going to use here. So here when F is equal to 5 kilohertz, we can substitute this F value in this formula. So R1 is equal to 1 by 4 pi squared F into 10 to the power 3 the whole squared. Here R2 value is what? 1.5 into 10 to the power 3. Here C squared value is 0 0.01 into 10 to the power minus 6 the whole squared. Okay. Then we can get the value as R1 is equal to 6.754 kilo ohm. So this is the resistance value at F is equal to 5 kilohertz. Okay. Similarly, we can find out the value of this R1 at frequency F is equal to 12 kilohertz. Okay. So we can substitute that F value as 12 kilohertz here. Then we can get the value as R1 is equal to 1.17 kilo ohm.